This video uh, will display how easy it is to download and set up an app on your smartphone. So the first things we've done here is we've physically set up a DVR, connected it onto our local router and displayed it on a local monitor. And then we've gone in and we've set up our local f uh, our smartphone on our local router as well. So it's on the same local network. And this is significant in terms of it makes it a lot easier to set this up, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I just go into the App Store and download the relevant app, which is NPVIEW, so NPVIEW. And what we'll normally do then is we'll simply install it, or in my case, we'll open it because we've installed it already. And very quickly, what we've done is, um, I, I've actually come along and set up um, a password and a, an email address, or um, um, a login here. But we're just gonna log in locally, and we'll see anyway, we've a live view, but we've no device added, so that part's blank. And what I say here is I want to go into Device Manager, I want to actually add a device on. So we have here, and then on the bottom here, I can click Add Device. And I could come along here and name the device if I wanted it. So we're just going to leave it with Device 1. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this part here that says I'm going to add the device via uh, the QR code. Okay, so you're going to tap this on the phone. And what it is, is QR code scanning mode. So we're just gonna lose focus here for a minute because we're actually gonna bring up what, physically what we have on the screen. So when you turn this on, normally what you'll have is the following guide to just be displayed in the screen. And we can just come along here and we just say next. And what we'll see here is that we have an SN code. So that's a serial number. And apologies, it's, it's unique to the, the actual machine itself. So it uniquely identifies DR. So what I have now is I've successfully scanned that in, so it only took about two or three seconds. What we need to do now is just turn our camera, we're going to focus back down on our smartphone here again, over here my positioning is good. And what we have here is we have the device there and we know it's a four channel uh, DVR and now I simply click on add and it's added successfully, it's that quick. And when we go in here, if we had a password set up, we'd need to enter it to get into the device. But now what we can do is we can come along and we can simply go and we're going to um, play the device here. So number three here, which is a uh, thing. So what we have here is, we just have the camera here. And just to prove it's me, we have the little, uh, I just put my fingers in front of the camera there. So that's important. Now what I want to do at this point in time is the following. I want to just go back out to my local area network my settings and turn off the Wi-Fi because one thing you want to make sure is is that you, it's, you just don't want to have it working now I just had to turn off my Wi-Fi here and I'll just go back in to my app now again and what I want to do is we want to make sure that not just on the local area network but on the global network will this work right so what we have to do there is we can see it and I can just turn the camera slightly, adjust it, or indeed I can put my fingers in front of it again and we'll just see there a slight time lag on it. But um, we're able to do it and that just shows us that we can view this from anywhere. And I always just advise people to make sure that they know that it's working globally, not just locally. But you can see the overall process is extremely simple. The fact that it's using a P2P process and a serial number um, for identifying each one just means all we need to know is make the device available globally to be able to get out past your router and then um, while effectively making sure that the SN code uh, allows you to identify it and pick it up immediately. So the setup process is extremely simple, works for the DVRs or for the DVR kits.